Okay, well I'm at the warehouse here, and I'm going to have a ride with uh, Gildo, and, uh, or Gildo, sorry, and uh, Anna's going to video us. Maybe I'll, I won't show my brother straight away because then I'll be able to keep up with him now. Uh -huh. <laughs> and maybe later I'll show him. <laughs> we'll see breaks and then we'll be together. Injure yourself like your hand. I like the same movement. G'day. Well, I'm here in the uh, the warehouse. Uh, Giro has just worked on my T8. He spent well, almost an hour taking bits off, putting it back on, and. Uh, Fixing things, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, thanks very much. <laughs> Jodo. Uh, so there's Jodo, here's the man. Uh, can I, Jodo? <laughs> Hi, Robert. Uh, yeah, I had to put my hands on it. I, I, I was, we were racing outside and uh, I, I, I took his strike for a little spin and I found that there uh, was some play here and there and uh, need some uh, TLC and uh, to put things back together. But I think now it's pretty good yeah it's tight and uh, ready to race again yeah maybe we should race again <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe now no, maybe not. next time when i come back when you come to australia we'll race again well yeah invite me and uh show me that uh, show me around and i just need time well we, when we get a decent number at our lsm i'll, uh, I'll make sure I can invite we you. need sales we need sales a lot of sales then we'll go there to promote and to race yeah. All the Aussies and yeah. show how it's done. Then the next year, I have, probably there will be guys so good that of course I will be retired. And hey, let me just swap hands here. So yeah. I'll just uh, yeah. This is go. our shop, my shop. I I do my prototyping, my fixing stuff, and is where I spend most of my time. Cre well, creating the the new tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for creating track. Uh, you know, they're fantastic to ride, and uh, fantastic meeting you, and uh, that's alright, I don't mind getting dirty. Me meeting you and your wife and going for a ride this morning out to uh, Sol... Solvang. Solvang, it yeah. was fantastic, alright. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you for coming, I, we are appreciate to have uh, new friends, new trike friends here. Cool. Yeah. Of course, I have 22 years of <laughs> triking. Ah, oh, good. 
racing there is some some technique for racing or yeah, yeah see you really you really get over it Yeah, all right, I see. I see what you mean, I'm totally going to practice that. Yes. Yeah, you, I see what you're doing. Yeah, but this is important when you want to sprint. Look, I will sprint here. Right. Yeah, right. You got, it's an extra... It's an extra bit of acceleration. I can feel that. That feels good. It's tiring on the legs. Good. Maybe I, I won't show my brother straight away, because then I'll be able to keep up with him now. Uh -huh. and then maybe later I'll show him that. Was he a Yeah. He, um, my brother, this was my first track. My brother got the version 1 T8, it's his first track. So he learnt on the poly wheels. So I think his technique is a little bit better, a little bit, little bit less effort for the same speed. And I think it's it's, it's uh, partly the, because he learned on the poly wheels. It's years and years of practice. You have to, it will evolve, you know. But you have to be really exploring this, all these movements, like the timing between turning or punching, leaning, kicking. Yeah. I like that kick. Yeah, the kick is Can you do it one-handed, Jodo? Yeah. Can you do it one-handed? Uh, My brother tries. He reckons he's pretty good. Right. But it's... Like yeah, you really have to... Yeah, it feels dangerous, <laughs> you know? Because sometimes when Greg and I, my brother, go out, you know, we're both on trikes, but we want to video each other. So we try and sometimes try and hold a camera, but you can really only, you can only just roll. You have to get speed up and then try and roll. You really have it strong, you know. Even the electric is not good to ride with one hand. 
Yeah, let me just check that you didn't have an unfair advantage here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's uh, so I just it could be a hidden motor. I don't know. Although th this one is uh, this one is the steel model, so uh -huh. I should have had the advantage for the aluminium model. Uh, this feels very similar to mine. I like this new movement. My brother's T78, like this, has got a problem. When you roll forward, the wheels come together a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. and then because it flicks someone, out. No, because someone rolled it backwards. Yeah. It says, do not roll backwards here. Yeah, it did it from day one, though. Yeah, and then it, but it's easy. If you, when you're going, imagine that these wheels are, spread like this yes when you're going in it, it goes like this and then when you unload it it springs back exactly out. if it springs back out means that the wheels are like this that's what i reckon so then you have to come here and, and just force, squeeze force it you reckon them, squeeze them till they are parallel again maybe that's what i know if don't. they are in you squeeze out important, that's what i'll have to do to have like 23 and a half inches outside here 23 and a half Okay, I remember But you that. can squeeze it and bend it back That's until, what I'm gonna have until to. it's perfect. It's really annoying to ride. But Almost every car, you feel it move. You have to fix it, it's yeah. very easy to fix. Let's fix your track, it has a lot of play here. Look, do you see the main axle here? Yeah. Look, see it moving? Yeah. You should not move Wh that. Where, which bit do I... Uh... I will show you. Okay. And then also here. See that there's a play here. Yes. So let's fix this thing. Okay. My uh, my T12 has a much bigger move there, and I'm not sure what to do. When you stand on it, you can really swivel, uh, sort of wobble your feet side to side. It's really got a big wobble. Yeah, my T12. This is, but this is the thing. You have to yeah. Yeah, because someone's going to ask, I know. Yes. But we came past there, right? for this issue is standing on it, moving in and out, mm. okay, then you see that the two issues are this main axle that gets this it's a space here. Yeah, the gasket. Yeah. yeah. So it, you can do two things or you replace these bushings or you add uh, washers here mm -hmm. I have very thin washers that call shims yes we, you can add then it removes this play here and then this one this one you will have to 
have to just check if it's tight, but uh, on this module here, I think we have to file down this axle a little bit. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, if you can take that, that helps. Yeah, this coil is the best way to, hmm. to carry the, uh, the lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found some things I tied it up to, I had to use the whole length because I couldn't find anything to tie it to. Got this brand new? Yeah. What is that tool? It's just uh, what we call tap to make threads or to clean threads. Oh. You know, I had problems with the thread on the on my T8 Sport, the two accessory arms. The I think they thread them and then paint them afterwards, and it makes it very hard to screw something into it because there's paint in the thread. Yeah. So I actually was trying to. Um, I had a an old bolt the right size. I was putting it in, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out, trying to get the paint off, and uh, I snapped the bolt. <laughs> yeah. Then I tried to get it out with a. Um, there's a tool you can get to try and get a bolt out. Yeah, and then I snapped the extractor in the bolt. So now I've got a bolt with an extractor in it. And that's tough. Yeah. Definitely. So I'll just leave it there. I think. What is this? Is this one? One of those? No, it's the the accessory arms. The little. Ah, the accessory. Is it, is the new yeah. Did you have it? A ski here? Hmm? You said you might have had a ski oh. here. So, one way is to put a little bit of oil in, you know, mm -hmm. in between these washers here. And it will keep it, you cannot just leave it dry, you know. Just replace it one of the washers, mm -hmm. but I think it will have to add one. Oh, and these are the shims. Wow, yeah. they are thin.
Ah, uh, so you put one on the other side as well? Is that no, right? I just put the oh, next th year. thicker yeah. one, uh, thicker washer head. 